How's it going everyone? My name is Ori Plays and welcome back again to the drawing challenge. In this one we're doing another special episode because a, a secret source has told me to draw something today so we're gonna try to do that. If you don't know who this is by now by looking at the title of the video this is this person Mei Mei from Jujutsu Kaisen. We're gonna be drawing her today and as you can see I've already got like a sketch figured out, just trying to get the main idea of the character. Obviously this isn't going to be the final thing, it's going to be something completely different, but I did this as a warm up, and it's not bad, it's not bad. And I actually found a really cool uh, technique, so I, if you look at all of this, uh, we're going to ignore that bottom one, that bottom one is sus, okay, uh, but if you look at the lines, in anime, a lot of the lines are very flat and not dynamic. This is so that the animators have like a... They don't have to worry about line weight because then... The, <laughs> the biggest thing you'd have to worry about is keeping your lines dynamic consistently when you're animating, which is just a terrible thing to have. It'd be like another step towards animating in anime, so... That's why animators usually just keep to one sh one stroke width. So that is why I've realized, and we're gonna be drawing like that a lot now. I've I've kind of changed the pen. So if I show you uh, what it actually does, it's basically just a lot flatter. It still has a bit of dynamics, as you can see. It still has. If I go really light, really heavy, there's still a little bit of uh, line weight change but it's not as noticeable so it's gonna really help sell that anime feel and anime look so yeah i don't want to yap for too long but first we're gonna start by thumbnailing i'm gonna speed speed out that and after thumbnailing we're gonna start the final thing and i don't know if we'll finish that today if we don't we'll, it'll carry on to tomorrow as well but for now Let's just focus on doing the thumbnail. Okay, see you guys in a sec.
Okay, so so far I've made three thumbnails in about, let's see, 20-ish minutes or something like that. And I think I've already found a one. Um, so since I'm not really going to frame all of it into the image, it will only be like this. It'll be like a short snippet from the whole pose. But I wanted to draw the pose in order to get an idea of how I want the poses to look like. So yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually start sketching now, I think. Just sketching out the design. I don't know if we can actually finish the piece today. But I'll, I'll try at least get some kind of rough sketch going before we start outlining. That I'm happy with. Because a good sketch we need for a good piece. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to start by lining out the... Where I want the head to go. Kind of sketch out a less zoomed out version. Then zoom it in by hand, just manually. So let's just try that. Okay, I think the thumbnail was done. Honestly, the sketch does not look too bad. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Now, what, what most people do is go back to the smaller sized version and sketch that instead. And like, uh, outline, do line art on it, etc, etc. But I feel like we can just do like, skip that and just do this. Okay, one thing I need to do is emphasize how wide these are they're a lot wider and a lot more curved these little braid things here like this and it's obviously curving towards the edge of the head like this okay now we can start kind of inking everything out i think one thing i'd say is i don't know if the head is too small it seems almost right, but I guess we'll see. I mean, it doesn't look too bad either way, so we can just draw on top of this now in order to figure out what we want to do. Basically, it's a three step process. First is like the rough sketch. Now we do kind of the details, but not really. 
Um, so for this piece, let's see. Is the brush size good? I'd say it's probably a little bit too thick. So let's dim it down to around size 15. Yep, that's good now. Okay, so let's try and sketch in at least some details now and then see how it goes. Okay, I was as careful as I could be with these details, and it, it didn't turn out too badly now, did it? I don't think it did. Uh, the mouth... Okay, so the, I'll explain what, what's happening with the mouth. The mouth is basically... Uh, it's gonna be in color, right? So, I basically drew in the lips, but they won't be outlined. The only thing that will be is the shadow here, kind of going like that from her mouth. She looks very unamused, and that's kind of what I was going for, because that's a lot of her personality is that she she's very disinterested in a lot of things that aren't involved with money. So I think that's my main sketch for the final piece. I don't know. If, let's get rid of a sketch behind it. And let's kind of see, let's kind of feel it out. 
So, if I were to do things differently, let me think. Eyeball, maybe? It's just very rough, right? I don't really know what I was doing with the eyeball. Um, I don't know if the size is right. I don't know if the placement is right. Uh, let me take a peek. I feel like it's okay. I feel like it's okay because it's most of it is knowing what's going on behind the head as well. I feel like once we get it all colored in and the line worked and and all that, I feel like it will be just a good piece. So let's look at our sketch again. So yeah, this is exactly the pose I kind of went for right here. Her arm is down, her other arm is up. The shoulders are tilted. Yep, the shoulders are showing that tilt right there. So yeah, that's, that's good. I'll keep it there for now, like that. And then tomorrow, with a pair of fresh eyes, we might make improvements before we start inking, and then that would be it. So as always, if you guys enjoyed, smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you amazing people in the next one. Peace out.